cool enough to be queer. And I was like, you know what, I think I am. So I think that, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what, Rowdy, grow up. I think I am, maybe you're not, and I'm not sure you are either, but <laughs> so now I'm identifying as queer, not bi, right? Because I felt like there was a lot of pressure on me to be 50-50, um, girls and guys, and I also, but then that also doesn't include the non-binary, that doesn't include, you know, trans people, really. And I always felt very confused about that whole thing for myself. And I think I now have to let go of that idea that I'm bi and moving on to being queer. And I think there's been a lot of stages in my sexuality and even with me as a person understanding my morals and who I am. And I'd love to be able to tell little me that it's okay to let go of parts that you loved so dearly before. You know, like, I was so proud to be bisexual, and I, I, it's still, I mean, is it that different? Like, yeah. for me, I'm like, I'm still gonna eat <laughs> 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 okay, okay, that wasn't too far, but you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not, it's nothing tangible changes, but I think the way that I see myself changes, sorry. Thank you so much. Let's go to I'm like, something's happening in this place. No, but you know what I mean? So it's like, I nothing tangible will change, but I think about how I see myself changes, and I and something that I was so staunch on, uh, you know, before, it's okay to let it go and, and have that as being malleable. Sorry, that was really inappropriate. It's, it's like a podcast comes out. And I'm like, nothing inappropriate. <laughs> it's a safe space. You know,